Hello, this is Troy White. I'm with Hoodoo Financial. I'm a financial educator, financial manager. Today I'm going to talk about the end of the financial services industry as we know it. And what we're going to be replacing it with is a blockchain. The blockchain is going to alter the landscape for financial services. And what I mean by that is going to alter the our ability to have access to capital is going to alter the ability for those in the financial services industry who previously were the gatekeepers who have historically discriminated against underserved communities. What I mean by that, all those haters that are making it hard for minorities specifically within the financial services industry are going to be axed out. It's because uh, it's the those gatekeepers that have had preconceived um, biases, and those biases have uh, have harmed many in uh, in their uh, their pursuit of prosperity in their entrepreneurial endeavors and to get a business loan, to get a home loan, to get all of those access to those things that enable you to move from poverty to prosperity. As we know, um, there's, there's a long litany of uh, examples on how the financial services industry has conspired against uh, different ethnic groups and uh, different parts of cities. And the blockchain is gonna remove those biases. The blockchain is inserting trust into the system. The blockchain ha is, is a system, it's a, it's a technology, it's a technology application that embeds trust into business. It is a, it's a, a an, indelible record it's a not it's an immutable record record that cannot be removed so we can forever tra uh, track a transaction so if, if i can verify technically that the, the client has the funds and the client can technically verify that i can provide the service that i claim to offer that's really all everyone wants. I just want to make sure I'm doing business with, with the proper person to do business with and that, that that business entity is going to treat me fairly at the same way that they treat everyone. Um, and doing so is with a system that does so is, is embedding trust into that system. Now, if I'm a part of a of a network or a circular um, a group of businesses that work together on a blockchain, if we have a blockchain that works together, then what we are now uh, engaged in is group economics. We are now engaged in uh, buying and selling from each other within the blockchain. And we can keep records of that. And so, and so if we are both members of a blockchain that do business together, well, in this membership, membership can have its privileges. So doing business with members within the chain, there can be uh, just, let's, let's call it an economic discount versus those outside of the chain. So there could be a benefit for you to do business within with the entities that are a part of your chain. And that's just a simplified version of, of, of how it's going to help us um, as a community. I'm going to go in deeper and deeper and deeper. I'm trying to go point by point. And this is just a, just a cursory example of, of uh, what the blockchain is going to bring in terms of finance and uh, investment in the areas of, uh, of uh, financial services, uh, crowdfunding, crowdsourcing, and I mean, access to capital in general, and access to clients 
business to business clients as well as uh, business to consumers. Uh, we'll talk about it more. Please subscribe. Thanks for listening.